This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 2, this is Section 4. What you extend, you are. Friend, I think relying on the belief that we are separate justifies our shortcomings. We identify with our shortcomings, thinking, Oh well, it is just because I am human. It is self-feeding. It may be the question of the chicken or the egg. Which came first? The mistake or the belief in being capable of making the mistake. And this is kind of a moot point. Just a play of ideas. When things go wrong, when things are less than perfect, we have a rationale like, well, what do you expect? David Those thoughts are held onto in the mind to justify the experience. After a while you start to get wise. There comes a point of feeling enough of this. Then there is a willingness to really look at your thoughts, to look closely at them with Jesus and to give up trying to justify them. If you feel angry, the ego tells you to blast it out, to blame it on something or someone out there in the world. It will make you feel better. You will get rid of it by giving it away. Kick the dog. Do this, do that, but just get it out. But projection does not work. It is like a boomerang. Zap it out there and it comes around and gets you in the back. And you feel guilty. After enough times of throwing the boomerang out and getting whacked in the back, the mind starts to see that there is a trick. Something is not right when I keep trying to project these things. If you get the metaphysics of this, you know there is simply one law in heaven. The law in heaven is this. What you extend, you are. God extends himself, love. So he is love. His son is the same thing. When you extend love, you are love. Jesus says that when you come into the dream world, it is just a misapplication or distortion of this one law in heaven. Through the ego lens, what you extend, you are, becomes... What you project, you will believe. When I project a world out there, I am trying to get rid of this world, to get it out of my mind. I try to get rid of duality, the split in my mind, and I project it. As soon as I project it, I believe it. And it sure seems believable, doesn't it? Doesn't this body seem real? The whole point is to question the belief and the thoughts. You have to start to see that they are attack thoughts and that they are unreal. As soon as you can see that they are unreal, you do not invest in them. They are false. 
you pull your mind away from them. But as long as you believe they are real, it feels horrifying and you just want to project it out more. That way you continue to seem like a victim, like there is something happening to you. Friend, there are so many backward thoughts. It feels like, why start looking? Say you are tired of being angry and hurt, and you just kind of become a hermit. Then you are not seeing any projections around you. You think you are hiding from them. Then you get to the point where you feel lonely. What is that? David. Backwards thoughts. In other words, you can remove your body from society. Friend. You think you are removing yourself from the things that bother you. You think that is where the cause is. But where is the cause? The cause is inside. You do not remove yourself from the mind. Then you get back in there. And what is pulling your back? Is that the ego? David People ask what the difference is between Mother Teresa seeming to reach out to everybody versus, let's say, a monk or a mystic that goes off into the mountains. In a sense, as long as you are training your mind and trying to detach from these thoughts, then form is irrelevant. We all have very high functions. We are called to be teachers of God. He is literally training us. Friend, all of us? David, all of us. We all have a lofty function. And the more we really give our minds to that function and really start to live it and practice it, There comes such joy that it makes you forget about the candy bars and all the whatevers. Before it was inconceivable to be without the hot fudge sundae. I like my hot fudge sundaes, Jesus. But more and more, as you get into this function and purpose, there comes an intrinsic joy. It is like a well that bubbles up from within the mind from the Holy Spirit. Friend, so you do not have that emptiness that you are trying to fill all the time with all these other things that do not really work? David, right. And instead of trying to wrestle with them, they become like little flakes of dandruff. You just have to blow them off. That is the way to let go of things. To blow them away like they are little specks of dust instead of giant leeches. Friend, I suppose the more you validate them or focus on them, the bigger they become. David, yes. 